Hey guys, what is up? It's Jaeger262 and today I'm bringing you my review of the MS06FZ Zaku Kai from Gundam More in the Pocket. Now this is an older kit, but it still was an absolute joy to build. The details are all in the right place. For paint, I painted the whole kit, so color, correct color coordination was not a problem for me. Overall, just a joy to build, and I'm very excited to do this room. Very excited to have this kit because Gundam War in the Pocket was the first ever Gundam series that I actually watched, and I fell in love with this suit and its pilot, Bernard Weisman, in the show. It's a very good OVA. I highly recommend you see it. And without further ado, let's get into this review. All right, so just for the basics, like every early Zaku kit, it's gonna be connected by ball joints and poly caps. So you get a ball on the shoulders, they come out. You can get a pretty good range of movement, out forward, out back. Same thing with the legs, only what's special to this kit, before I talk about anything else, is this is the first time and we take it for granted, kind of, or at least I do with the Origin kits. This is the first time we ever had this type of waist. I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick it up. But it's able, because in the show, the Zaku sits down and Bernie and the main character, Alfred, have a lot of talks on the Zaku. So what Bandai did is they made it so that way the Zaku can sit down. And what I, it's unfortunate to me, is that they didn't do this with the At Guys at this scale but it's pretty decent it's a cool little gimmick that's a callback to the original anime so there he is you can actually make him sit down it's a callback to the original anime and I think it's just great I probably won't be displaying mine sitting down but it is something you could do if you wanted to and so as you saw right there, I didn't actually cut the skirt pieces, so this is all one piece. Then these side skirt pieces move on their own independently. Swivel at the wrist on both up and down ball joint. The head is on a typical ball joint, but it can't get a lot of movement. So you can go side to side pretty easily and look kind of up but not really and then kind of down but not really and the reason for that is just how thick this armor is around the neck because the zaku fc was a redesign of the original zaku f so one in the pocket was the first ova slash anime not directed or drawn or had any influence from the original creator so a lot of the suits are redesigns and in overall gundam canon they get designations. So this one's the Kai. Their version of the Zagok gets experimental Zagok. Their version of the Gog gets the High Gog. But they're all actually completely new redesigns. And so because of that, it has very thick armor on the front, doesn't move. It can go side to side a little bit, some ab crunch, but not really, and almost no head movement. It's just a very thick, heavily armored torso. The arms can go up side to side. They have a huge gap here, just like most Zaku kits, to do the full range of movement. And for this one, all you have to do is twist this up that way, and it gives you the extra edge. So not as mobile as the Origin kits, but for its time, with the way that it can sit, and the way it moves its arms, it's actually quite a nice kit. I just showed you ball and peg in the legs. The legs go out to about here. You can move the feet a little bit. It's got a double jointed knee. And then of course, just foot articulation. Overall, not a very mobile kit, because again, it's old. But I enjoy it, and it has a lot of good details that don't come with proper color apps. But if you see here, this thruster is a separate piece, so you can paint it off the kit. The thrusters in here are comprised of three pieces. Same thing, each thruster here is a separate piece, which is easier to paint. And then the thrusters in the feet. The symbol, the way they did the cockpit, and I'll show you with... I'll show you with my Zaku 1, what I mean. 
or not Zaku one. That wouldn't be a good comparison. By Zaku two. What I mean. If you look at his helmet, this is a typical Zaku helmet. You got the panel lines. This is the origin kit. You have the rebreather almost. More panel lines in the windows. It's all very thin here. Pretty stock top to bottom. But on the Zaku Kai, the reason I got this kit, I'm so excited for it. Not only does it have none of the windows because it didn't in the redesign, but the sculpt of the head and just how it's smoothing everything copies the anime really well. And so it looks like you're actually holding a piece of the cartoon, which you see me there trying to get that mask to connect back to the face. When I painted it, I didn't properly mask that peg, and so my face is a little disjointed. That probably won't happen with yours if you do choose to get this kit. Accessories are pretty great, and I don't want to talk this kit up too much, but again, it's one of my favorite mobile suits from one of my favorite OVAs. And so the reason I like all the little accessories is because they're just releasing the um, they're releasing this mobile suit for the RE100 line, and the accessory pool for that is inspired by this. You do get three grenades, just like in the anime, and they do come off his belt but they don't come off together. So I'm not doing anything with them, but if you really wanted to, all you would have to do, and what I might do in the future, is just cut the little connecting tab, sand it down and repaint it, and you can make him hold the grenade. So that's cool, he of course comes with his standard machine gun, and the reason I'm doing this showcase on, let me pop it off here to show you, is because it's designed a little bit differently, it looks like a Neo Zeon machine gun, and that's just because it's what was considered the Special Forces variant of the Zaku rifle. But it's a machine gun, not a rifle in the anime. So you get that, very cool. You get a Heat Hawk that's downstairs right now because I'm still painting it. And then the only other accessory is an open hand. Which Let me see if I can go and find that open hand for you real quick. Other than that, no real accessories. Again, it's an older kit. You get when this came out. Let's see if I can find it. Yes, yeah, so this was made in 2008. It's not that long ago, not that old. But with the way kits are today, it's old in comparison. Like this kit was very special when it came out because it had that, that seated gimmick. But now. It's both the Zaku 2 and the Zaku 1 from the original, I can do it. There is the hand. The only other real accessory that this comes with. Again, it's nicely detailed for what it is, just like all the hands on this kit. But other than that, it's a pretty simple kit. It's got an okay range of movement for what it does, and the sitting gimmick is what sells it because it's, again, all about being anime accurate and this figure does it better or I should say this model kit does it better than most mobile suits I've seen like Charge Zaku 2 from the origin line does look like Charge Zaku 2 but other than that it's just all you know they're model kits they go as far as they can but this kit's one of the few where it's um actually straight out of the box what you expected and what you saw in the anime and if I pop this hand on, you can make him hold. His shoulders only come up to 90. So you can hold, it doesn't look very great, but you can get action poses out of him where he's holding the machine gun. Yeah, like that. However, this while that's a great way to use the holding hand, that's not what it was intended for, and this is another reason why I bought the kit. The holding hand was done for the gimmick of holding pilot Bernard Weisman, which is from the anime when he sits down, of course, just like every Zaku pilot, the hand comes up to the cockpit and he gets in the hand to talk to Alfred. And so I was really hoping, but it's a high grade, so it's not gonna happen, that this kit, one of the accessories would be a pilot. But 
unfortunately it's not. However, if you did have a spare pilot or other 1144 scale figures lying around, you could do that. The only diff, and for stickers, the only sticker that comes with this kit is this Xeon one and then the Mono Eye. And I'm aware the Xeon one's supposed to be on the shield. I for some reason forgot that the Zaku Kai had a shield, and I was like, wow, I didn't know they gave me a Xeon sticker. I don't know why they did that. So I put it on the chest, and it doesn't look too bad. I'll get into a tutorial on how I do stickers because I usually don't like them. But I mean, on camera, you can see it looks pretty okay. And I'll teach you how I do that. It's relatively simple. So if you don't want to go out of your way to buy third party decals from China, or if you don't want your stickers to go to waste, like I know a lot of real grades have stickers still, not decals, and you don't want to waste them, there is a way to make them look decent. Not really up close. Well, no, on camera it looks okay still, but you can see that it's a sticker. It's more from far away, just at a glance, making it look realistic. And I'll do a tutorial on that coming up. But other than, I think that's my only point. That's my last point. It's just two stickers, kept it simple, very anime accurate. I recommend getting this figure. It's pretty cheap. It's about 1200 yen, $12. And for the price you pay, it's worth it if you don't have a Zaku tube in your collection or if you really enjoyed War in the Pocket like I did and you have some of the other mobile suits and you want the Zaku, pick up this kit. It's good. It's not the best. It's pretty much standard high grade, early high grade. So just expect that going into it. But I would personally recommend this kit. I had a joy building it. I have a joy painting it. And I look forward to the 1100 scale one. I'm going to try to get that. So, thank you so much for watching. Throw up a like if you enjoyed this video. Or please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for my next unboxing and reviews of Gunpla kits. I will be building the MSM 03 GOG next. And what I'm going to try to do is build it first and do the review so that we can get a better appreciation for its movement. The reason that the Moon Gundam and this one have been limited in motion is because I painted them and it's pretty easy to scrap acrylic paint so I'm a little nervous. So what I'm going to do is build the high gog, or not the high gog, sorry, I'm going to build the gog first, then do the review, and then show you the final painted one as a part of the review. So stay tuned for those and thank you so much for watching. See you next time.